Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Manka or Miss Cameroon. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. If this is your first time here, please make sure you subscribe. I'm always talking about beauty, business and also my life in Ghana. Today is a business video. This is my long awaited hair vendor video. I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to find your own vendor. I'm even, just because I have taken so long to do this video, I'm even going to give you one of my personal vendors. Like this is a vendor that I personally use. I feel like a lot of people that give out vendors, give out vendors that um, like they don't use anymore. I don't know, maybe the quality has changed, but I swear by this vendor. And I feel like if you guys did try the hair, you will definitely like it. There's a small catch to it. I'll tell you guys in a bit, but I get emails all the time. I also get messages and DMs of ladies asking me how to start up your hair business, how to kind of go about things. I did do a video previously to kind of touch on it, but of, of course I understand that um, you guys really want me to go into detail. I get, I trust me, I get it. Um, when I'm doing my research into hair business, trust me, I am doing my research. I'm watching as many videos as I can and I'm reading up as much as I can. Obviously in this specific video, we are focusing on finding a vendor because it is not easy to find a vendor to start your business. Like you could have everything, Resi. You could have, um, you could have startup money. You could have even a, a good amount of startup money. You can have your branding. You can have your packaging. You can have a marketing scheme, a website, an Instagram setup. You can be ready to do a, a shoot, have models on standby. But if you have not found a reliable vendor, then you've got no product. And it's so annoying because it's not very easy to jump on the plane and go to China or go to India or go to Vietnam and source these vendors um, and find the hair yourself. You have to literally rely on on testing out the hair, which can be very expensive and time consuming. There are definitely a lot of scammers. I feel like as time is going by and um, these sellers in these countries are understanding more and more that the hair business is a massive industry and has so much money in it the more and more there are people pretending to sell high quality hair i feel like before we can kind of go into um how to find the vendors themselves i need to talk about like what you should be looking for there's no point um you're going to look for vendors and you don't know what specific vendors you're actually looking for if you did watch my previous video you will know that I don't want to hear anything about Brazilian hair. I don't want to hear anything about Peruvian hair. I don't want to hear any of that. Those are not real hair textures. Those are marketing techniques, especially Brazilian hair. Like, oh my God, it upsets me so much. And then you have Ming Brazilian hair. These do not exist. When somebody messages me to say, oh, um, what kind of hair do you sell? Do you have Brazilian hair? Like my chest actually gets tight because it does not exist. You guys have to understand where you're buying your hair from. Majority of the time, the uh, origin, where you're talking, whoever you're talking to, where, wherever you're talking to these sellers. So if you've um, gone on to, let's say, Alibaba, for example, and it says like the vendors in China and that seller tells you, you ask them, oh, like what kind of hair do you sell? And they tell you that they sell Indian hair. Majority of the time, they're lying to you. Indian people sell Indian hair. Why? Because that's what they have they have there. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't leave your country to go and and source hair from somewhere else and still be able to sell it at cheap prices because majority of the time hair from China, I mean, it can be relatively cheap. So think about all of the import fees and having to pay for somebody to go over to India and source this hair for them. It wouldn't be cheap, so it doesn't make sense. So be aware of where the the um, vendor is actually, like the location that they're at. If they're in China, 90% of the time, you're gonna get Chinese hair. There's gonna be Chinese hair. You also have to think about the population of, of people. How many women buy hair? You watching this, you buy, I'm assuming that you, you know, you buy human hair. How many people do you know that buy human hair extensions? You have to think there are a lot of people in this world 
a lot of people wearing wigs and weaves so they need to be the, the hair needs to be coming from their at if they're in china 90 percent of the time you're gonna get chinese hair there's gonna be chinese hair you also have to think about the population of of people how many women buy hair you watching this you buy i'm assuming that you you know you buy human hair how many people do you know that buy human hair extensions you have to think there are a lot of people in this world a lot of people wearing wigs and weaves so there needs to be the the hair needs to be coming from countries that are very heavily populated because otherwise there would not be enough hair to go around right so if you're buying hair from china majority of the time it's chinese hair when, that's why here in our proven hair go on the map and look at how small peru is there's nobody in peru to be supplying you hair like that yeah maybe once in a blue moon but for you to be buying every month you're getting hair off aliexpress and you're getting all oh, peruvian proven peruvian it's not peruvian hair majority of the time it's chinese so let's talk about the different types of hair when it comes to the kind of hair that you would like to sell so you have raw hair and then you have virgin hair, right? So raw hair is when literally nothing has happened to the hair, as in they have just shaved it off or cut it off from the donor's hair. All the cuticles are aligned. So that means everything is going the same way and they haven't done anything to it. They haven't, they haven't uh, colored it. They haven't put any kind of um, steam processing or chemical processing. All they've done is just cleaned and treated the hair. That's raw hair that hair is usually cheaper and in my opinion is usually high quality why because nothing has happened to it how you get the hair is how the hair is going to be sometimes a con from this kind of hair is that um sometimes like it needs more care so that also depends on the kind of people that you're trying to sell to if you're trying to sell to potentially younger people who don't necessarily want to have to like deal with their hair they just want to wake up and just straighten it maybe wash it once in a while i feel like virg um raw hair is not necessarily for them raw hair is for somebody that can take care of your hair sometimes your hair your your wigs your weaves it will tell you what it needs if your hair starts to kind of act up the hair is not bad the hair just needs a wash probably has product build up and virgin hair does react like this too but more so raw hair so raw hair usually comes in like a natural like a naturally wavy texture or or depending on the country it can come in a straight texture but you have to you have to understand the origin so if the origin that is coming from like you can just see the people they don't have let's say they're advertising it as raw straight hair and the and the country it, you don't really see people with straight hair is nine times out of ten like it's been processed so a majority of raw straight hair um, I think that's the best usually comes from like Vietnam you're hearing all of this bone straight again it's a marketing tactic that people are running with why wouldn't they run with it that's what is the craze right now bone straight you always had the same hair it was always the hair same hair that was being sold but now it just has a name to it and people are literally like grabbing that like oh my gosh I need this specific type of hair do you get what I mean good are we following fantastic I was about to start rambling on and on and on but then i realized why you guys are really here We're, you're here to talk about the vendors so if you want me to go into like detail detail about the various uh suppliers and like where they probably come from then let me know and i actually will go into depth about the different origins indian vietnamese chinese we'll get into that southeast asian at another time but let's talk about let's talk about my my vendor that I'm trying to give you. So I found my specific vendor on Alibaba. Alibaba is a fantastic source um, to find vendors, and it it genuinely there was no kind of um, there was no like technique to it. I literally when I search on Alibaba, I search. I search for raw, because I like raw hair over virgin hair, just preference, but I search for raw cuticle aligned hair. Sometimes if I'm being specific, let's say I want Indian hair, I'll type in raw Indian um, cuticle aligned hair. If I want Chinese, the same and the same and the same, right? So to be able to find my vendor, 
I I was searching on Alibaba and I was messing about the person that you're working with. Imagine if one week you do an order, you're communicating, communication is fantastic, you get your shipment right when you need it to and everything is fine. And then maybe two weeks later when you need to um, communicate again to get another order, they're not replying. You've got customers that are wanting the hair and there's, they're taking a long time. You can't have that, you're running a business and if you say to your customers they're gonna get their hair on Friday, they can't be slacking. So communication with your supplier is very, very important, which is why this uh, vendor that I'm sharing with you, she's fantastic. She's fantastic. So her name, my, my um, the I guess she's a rep. The rep that I speak to, no, you guys have to actually take this in because this hair is actually fantastic. Um, this person that I speak to, her name is Martina and the company that I get, um, my hair from one of my important vendors the company is i actually can't believe i'm saying this people don't show their vendors like this like this is anyway the people that i get the specific vendor that i use because obviously i have multiple vendors i'm only giving you one always have multiple vendors because if somebody lets you down you have to have another one so one of my vendors, one of my important vendors is called Kiss Locks Raw Hair. Yep, Kiss Locks Raw Hair. And like I said, the person that I speak to, her name is Martina. Earlier I told you that there is a catch and you're probably gonna be asking me, Ranka, what's the catch? The catch is that this specific vendor that I get my hair from, as amazing as the hair is, and I don't have any uh, bundles on hand at the moment of that specific hair, but trust and believe, throughout I will be um, putting in some clips and stuff of like specific units or bundles themselves, but the only catch is that this hair, it's a bit expensive. And that's fun. It's a bit expensive and that's fine if that fits your clientele. The kind of clientele that I like to have or the kind of clientele that I like to target are people that like quality and don't mind paying for it. That's my clientele. That's who I target. So my prices are quite expensive. My prices are not expensive because I like to extort people. My prices are expensive because I actually buy the hair for an expensive price and that's literally my only con when it comes to this specific vendor. So like I said, I found them on AliExpress, communicated with Martina. She was very, very helpful. She did let me know exactly the different types of um, hair that they offer. Um, so the, the origin of the hair is Southeast Asian. And the reason why it's Southeast Asian and it's not like, oh, Chinese virgin hair or like Vietnamese virgin hair, the reason that it's Southeast Asian as general is because there is taken from different countries in southeast asia there's not just one and i really appreciated that she was honest with me because she could have easily said oh yeah it's vietnamese hair or but she let me know that it's southeast asian hair it comes from different countries in southeast asia what i love so much about the bundles that i get from her the raw bundles that i get is that they're always slightly different colors i think that's beautiful because you can really see that it's come from different people and it hasn't been dyed sometimes i get really light brown sometimes it's really dark and i absolutely love that i've never had any complaints when it comes to my hair quality um i don't have any issues when it comes to shipping with her ever she's always quick and even when i moved to ghana and i needed my hair to be shipped in ghana she shipped it to me in ghana no problem so i'm not going to give you two 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 i'm not going to talk about her too too much if you are interested then i will actually leave her whatsapp number in the description box below and you can actually message her on whatsapp yourself tell her that manka sent you okay so that she and she'll treat you good she'll treat you real good because the hair is good she has different um they're different types of hair so i buy her i buy her um the raw southeast asian hair it's a bit pricey but you, like you will see for yourself cool 
So let's talk about let's talk about how I find my vendors now because like I said um to find my other I have there are two vendors that I have that I have found from Alibaba but now I find my vendors in a completely different way obviously to know that um Kiss Locks had good hair had very very good hair I actually bought bundles myself and I wore the bundles and tested it out myself which can take a long time and obviously can also be kind of expensive if imagine if I had got it from them and the hair might not have been bad but it wasn't 100% up to my standard I would have needed to basically do the process again so some people it takes literally years um it's taken me like months to find vendors before but not years luckily um but there's a different way that I find my vendors now and this way is amazing because people get to do majority of the work for me in this way and this is something that all of you can use i hope some of you already do it but this is something that every single one of you can use to find your own vendor obviously you can't always go by 100 percent what somebody says even if i'm telling you this is the best hair in the whole wide world you still have to test it out yourself but at least it gives you a very very big push in the right direction so i'm going to show you exactly how i find my vendors the way that i find new vendors all the time is via facebook literally facebook and i don't even know how i even stumbled across this but basically on facebook there are literally hundreds and hundreds i'm only um involved in a few there are hundreds and hundreds of groups of young men and women who um either share vendors or share their experiences with vendors or literally just discuss their hair business problems like it's literally like a, a community and it's amazing because if you find let's say you were thinking about okay for example i've told you guys about kiss locks hair if you join this group and to join the group is very easy like it's just a short questionnaire and then like unless you're I don't know, a bit weird <laughs> they will accept you you'll be able to like have access to it but for example, I've given you Kiss Locks hair as a vendor. And what you would now do is you will go onto the group and in the search bar, you will just search Kiss Locks hair and so many things will come up. Either people that have tried it, people that have had good experiences, people that have had bad experiences, and I'm sure they discuss what these issues are. Um, the reason that I say it's so important for you to, I mean, take everything with a pinch of salt is because for example, I've come across um, Kiss Locks being spoken about recently, actually, and um, they said that the hair that they received, like, they didn't really like it. Whereas I love the hair, as in even if I stopped using it as a personal vendor just because of the pricing, I would still use them as a personal vendor. Oh, sorry, another reason why, going back to Kiss Locks, another reason why some people might be potentially put off is to get the wholesale prices you have something called an MOQ, which is a minimum order quantity. That's the minimum amount of bundles or closures that you have to buy. And for Kiss Locks, the MOQ is 15 bundles. So if you're like really, really small, maybe you wanted to start off with like, I don't know, 10 bundles. It might be a bit difficult. I don't know, maybe Martina will let it slide, but that's something you have to be aware of. Anyway, so I've got this iphone 7 because i'm using my phone to film and i'm just gonna click on i've clicked on facebook i'm on the app and i'm going to show you i don't i haven't been on the on the um groups for a minute now so we'll see what's there and i'll actually show you so i'm gonna start screen recording so that you guys can see on the screen exactly what i'm seeing so literally first first thing here that we see somebody has asked a question and this specific group that I'm in, as you can see, is called Raw Hair Vendor Shade Room, which is like really, really cool because you know you get the shade room. This is a raw hair vendor shade room. Obviously, like I said, I'm very interested in raw hair. I love raw hair. Um, so that's one of the vendors that I'm interested in. Anyway, she said, do you all recognize this vendor? I've been searching forever. Another thing that this group is good for is maybe they will see like a hairstylist and she sells hair and people try and see what they can do to like find the vendor which is cool and if we look it has seven answers see what people have said 
<sighs> this FFF following thing that you see is so annoying. It's what people put to basically um, make sure that they get updates with the post, which they don't actually have to do. You can actually um, save the post and follow the post. So I don't know why people do that. Um, so I don't think there's anything Oh, the only person that said this isn't really much to go by like please try another picture maybe try another picture anyway let's click on the actual group itself so this is the raw hen the raw hair vendor shade room and i'll scroll down and if i see anything juicy i'll let you know so someone said looking for a legit wig vendor with good quality any suggestions there's five answers in this um and obviously people are just sharing their opinions about how hard it is it is very hard someone has given a suggestion of a company called april lace wigs so what i would do is if that's something that i would i'm interested in i would actually just drop it down in my notes and maybe like go in and research them later but it's like someone has recommended it so if i literally had nothing now i have one thing to kind of go off on scrolling down someone has given another company someone has literally given a whatsapp somebody like a whatsapp of a company like so it literally gives you a boost to be able to go and look at your own like do your own research further so let's kind of scroll and see what else is there again someone is trying to find a specific vendor but what i want to try and find is a review because that's like that's what i love i love when someone gives a review okay cool you don't have to scroll far to, to find something. Someone says, I'm liking this hair a lot. It's super full, as we love. No fillers, no lice, no shedding, no tangles, raw Indian. I think I found a good vendor. And as you can see, they've, they've put in a video. For me, the quality of the actual video is not that great, so I can't really see. Um, this looks really pretty. Let's look at what the comments say. I'm sure without even scrolling, I know that everybody in the comments is going to be saying, can you share the vendor? Do you mind sharing the vendor? And obviously it's up to this person to decide whether they want to share or give more information or not. I love it when they share because then you can actually see, wow, this hair moves very nicely and you can see what other people think and then you can go and research the company further. So what, what are people saying? Someone said it looks good, nice and bouncy. Someone said, I'm interested. Someone asked, how was it after you washed it? And the person said, still amazing, no tangles, no shedding, which to me would be like, wow, that's amazing. Because obviously they're kind of almost doing um, a test for you. And someone said, how did you contact them, love? And they've literally put in, so it says here that this company is Haman Hair Hub India like their numbers there and obviously because the name is there you can now go and have a look on instagram and actually research there's another group on facebook it's called hair vendor plaza and i mean while i'm here I might as well show you it. the last one that i post that i showed you was specifically for raw hair but you might be interested in virgin hair so let's take a look at this one so raw hair vendor plaza um, someone's asked a question about Vietnamese hair. This group is, these groups are really, really good for if you're starting out and you just want to know some more information as well, which I love because there's no question that is like, you may, you're made to feel like stupid. Um, people just share also like just general business concerns or, or queries and stuff like that. Um, this person said, um, is asking a question about um, the kind of knots it's just great does anyone know what these light colored strings in the hair are is it mixed with synthetic let's see what some people have said um, people have said they're filler hairs so filler hairs are basically what some cheeky um, companies will like put in there sometimes it's like a piece of thread to just increase the weight of the hair so if you didn't know that and I didn't tell you that then People have answered it, I believe. Some person said it might be grey hair. So the groups are just really, really good. They're really good. Like this person is asking for help with lace placement. It's just a really good community to be able to, to be able to like just elevate in your business, which is what you want to do.
Pack your bag, come let's go. But are we waiting for?